with the one we're after. What do you want to do? We did it. Considering the situation at the scene, I thought Kagero may be responsible. Whether it was Kasane or Kagero, the fact that the perpetrator was in the OSF will be even harder on Yuito. further. Nothing to open or destroy. Let's find a different path. Wait, it is too early to give up. We might be able to get to the other side using my power. Please give it a try, Kasane. I'll support you. Not yet. Alright. War! the truth. He won't try to kill Kagero, will he? Let's hurry and catch up to them. That reminds me. You graduated at the top of your training class too, Shiden. There were rumors of an amazing rookie at the time. I was put in Kodama platoon, though. They had me doing all kinds of weird work that didn't really show my true potential. No, you made it through that platoon. You get points just for that. I can see how much ability you have when we fight together. Of course. You know the true way to look at things. You're the most ethical of all the weirdos in the OSF.
Yuito, Kagura. Did we interrupt you? Kagura, let me see your wounds. I'll try to fix you up. Thanks, Sugumi. <sighs> Did everyone hear that? About my father? Yeah, Kasane told us. Are you alright? I guess so. For now. Please, tell me what happened to him. Right. Where to begin? Kagero, this is just a conjecture on my part. But wasn't it orders from Togetsu? It was indeed. I'm an assassin sent on a mission from Togetsu to infiltrate Suo. I see. So you weren't hired by the Seiron government. It seems Chairman Sumeragi was more distrustful of Togetsu than the former chairman. They considered him a threat. So you assassinated him for Togetsu? If I wanted to crush Togetsu's plans, Babe's plans, I couldn't be seen as a troublemaker. So it was self-defense. Had I done a little better, though, I could have fooled them and gotten by not having to assassinate anyone. Look, I'm really sorry about Chairman Sumeragi. If you tell me to face the consequences, I will. But first, I want to finish dealing with Togetsu. I know that's asking a lot, but please. Who is the she you mentioned? Is she the reason? I suppose I have to tell you. I have a family I left on the moon. A wife and a daughter. I first met my wife when we were getting ready to emigrate to Earth and had our daughter. If emigration no longer happens, my daughter no longer exists. I won't let that happen. That's why I have to do everything I can to stop them from using the red strings. It was all to protect your daughter. This was 2,000 years ago. She's been dead a long time, so I'm sure you think it all sounds silly. But I don't want my family, my daughter's existence, to be erased. If your family is so important to you, why did you leave them on the moon? You could have just brought them to Earth with you. I could have if I was a normal colonist, but that wasn't the case. I was an agent placed among the colonists. My job was to make the redevelopment of Earth fail. Why? The Moon spent a thousand years fixing the Earth's environment, to sabotage it when it was almost finished. Did things change on the Moon? If my memory serves me correctly, I heard that something flew in from outer space. You don't know? It's kind of a long story, but I'll tell you what happened 2,000 years ago. It was when Yakumo Sumeragi and the colonists immigrated to Earth. A comet passed close by the moon. The comet left behind the unknown substance called other particles in space. Gravity then began pulling those particles down to Earth and the moon. Earth was still mostly unpopulated, so the effects were unknown, but the moon began to have cases of people turning into monsters. Monsters? Do you mean... Yes. Metamorphosis. If a living creature comes into contact with the other particles, they change into aberrations. Into others. At the time, the redevelopment of Earth had moved to the final step of gravity control. If that were sabotaged, we could stop the other particles falling to the moon. Basically, that was the Moon Faction's plan, and I was an agent who had been given secret orders to carry it out. Yakumo Sumeragi and the rest of the colonists were already on Earth. You were just gonna leave them to die? It's terrible, I know. But people like Yakumo resisted the Moon's wishes, and the plan ended in failure. So the Moon put Plan B into action. They pushed the other particles toward Earth, surrounding it, and making it so we couldn't return home. Other particles surrounding Earth. The extinction belt. I think it's safe to say that the Moon's space technology is far ahead of ours. The Moon was overpopulated at the time, and I heard most of the people went to Earth. It was probably a plan to reduce the population. I was cut off from the Moon, so staying on Earth was the only option. I don't know what happened on the Moon after that. The metamorphosis might have spread. 
More people like my sister. Even so, I believed that my family was safe, and joined Togetsu so I could return to the moon. I went in and out of cold sleep many times, trading off with comrades as we searched for a way to break through the extinction belt. But after several awakenings, I realized Togetsu had changed their plans. There was just no way I could allow them to reset history. That's why becoming a traitor was the path I chose. I understand. My father wasn't perfect. He would often make mistakes, especially when it came to how he led the government. But he was family. The only father I had. I just can't forgive you for killing him. But it's because of that. I understand your desire to protect your family. So let's stop Togetsu together. I will always resent you. But I think I can stand up to them with you. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I might have done something distasteful to further my goal, if I had taken a wrong turn somewhere as well. So, I think I understand a little bit of your actions. You know, you're much more mature than I am. Or maybe I'm just too immature. I guess in the end, I made you decide after all. So lame. Let me help you stop Togetsu. Are you finished? Kasane, I caused you so much trouble. I'm sorry. Stop acting so meek all of a sudden. It's weird. Kasane, I thought you were the one who killed my father. <laughs> I'm sorry I doubted you. It's just as much my fault for not saying anything. When I wanted to kill you, I thought that having you hate me would keep me focused on the task. I guess that makes sense. So, you don't have to apologize. Yeah, okay. That's enough talk for now, then. I'm sure you all have your own questions. Even I don't understand what's going on. But we have to work together and focus on what needs to be done. If that is your decision, I don't think we have anything else left to say. All right. So our main mission is to go to Togetsu as soon as we can and stop Babe. What do you think of using my power to make everyone invisible in order to infiltrate it? We should probably assume that Kagero and I are both known traitors by now. We don't have time to dwell on it. It's dangerous, but I believe Kagero's plan has potential. Togetsu probably doesn't expect an attack from such a small force. Let's consider it a sneak attack. Okay, let's do it. First, we'll climb Hiano Mountain and get close to Togetsu. Oh, that was not good on my nerves. Don't scare me like that. I'm glad you're both okay. Wataru, Haruka, I'm sorry I made you worry.
We did it. Let's keep going. Wow, Kasane. You're so good. Let's fly. I guess even Sagumi's giving up on me now. We did it. What you did was terrible. Still, I won't stop being friends with you. We did it. Friends. It's been years since anyone called me that. Thanks. We're almost to Togetsu. Kagero, are you ready? An earthquake? The shaking. It's similar to the big earthquake at Kunad Highway. I think it's over. Is everyone okay? The Kunad Gate just briefly put out some strange numbers. An earthquake-type shaking was felt all across New Himuka. It wasn't too severe, so there shouldn't be too much damage. We're fine here. There was no significant damage to Hiano Mountain. It must have been caused by the Kunad Gate. Uh, hey! Togetsu is doing all kinds of research on it too, right? Yes. While we're stopping Babe, we should dig up as much useful information as we can. Yuito, how's your head? Do you feel anything weird about your power? Any abnormalities? Huh? No, not really. My head hasn't hurt at all since everyone gave me my memory back. Why? That's good then. When we were fighting, I felt... How can I describe it? It was like your power was spilling over. You might have just been excited. Does that kind of thing happen to you? It is true that powers are affected by emotions. However, if that was not the case... There is a theory that it is a sign of decaying mental abilities. Apparently, when abilities are about to disappear, they become strangely more powerful. So you're saying... my powers are going to go away? Apparently, it's been observed in rare cases along with the aging of the brain. It shouldn't be happening to you now. Yes, that's true. However, his brain has suffered quite a bit of damage. I also used to be a dud, so it might be different from a normal human brain, too. What? You were a dud? Oh, right. I didn't tell you guys yet. You became a psionic from an experiment when you were a kid? I can't believe you were a dud. Do you know how long my power will last? Will it disappear today or tomorrow? It's not that sudden. But there haven't been many cases, so I can't say for sure. We're not sure that's what it is anyway. This is all just an assumption. I know that. If it's not going to be sudden, I won't think about it for now. Sorry for adding to your worries. Don't get too caught up about it. It's okay. I didn't realize it myself, so I'm glad you said something. Okay. Anyway, we should start watching our surroundings. We're near Togetsu. Time to turn invisible! You ready? Yes. We'll go right in. Yuito? I'm curious about what Kagero said. Are you really feeling alright? Yeah, I'm fine. My power apparently won't go away too soon, so we just have to see what happens. Okay. Just don't push yourself too hard.
<sighs> it's tough to keep this up with this many people. There's not much security inside, just like we thought. All right. We'll go straight to Babe. Look out! Damn! Here they come. The Togetsu design children. Oof. Looks like they were expecting us. We have to break through. How? We're surrounded. Figure something out. If we run now, there will be even more security next time. I'll use teleportation. Not with this many people. We don't know the layout inside, babe. I know the location. And we have to take our chances. Kasane is right. We may not have another opportunity. If we get close to babe, they'll have to take precautions. So why don't we just take the risk? I trust you. Let's get this done. Luca, do it! Here we go! This is... the entrance to Babe. Good. It worked. Nice one, Luca. Maybe you should rest a little. No. I appreciate the concern, but I don't think we have that kind of time. Huh? Uh? Others. Why? Hey, Haruka! Wataru! Damn. Sinet has been cut off. I don't know why there are others here, but we're better off than before. Yeah, there's not too many. Let's take him out. Attacks to the outer shell are working. Please, I'll try to break it. Did he make it? You saved me, Arsh.
sense no others around us. This is bad. I never thought they'd toss a bunch of others around inside the babe building. You didn't know? Wait, what do you mean, toss? Do you mean they caught others and brought them here? Or maybe they know how to metamorphose, like Suo. Togetsu possesses the other particles. They used them to make others. This is the first time I've seen them used like this, though. The others were born here by placing live creatures in contact with the other particles. Should we keep going this way if we want to shut down Babe? I don't have the blueprints to the building, though it looks like the command center is as far inside as you can go. The terminal that tried to take control of Yuito only connects to the superficial information on Babe. All right, let's just keep going.
It may appear to be a dead end at first glance, but I think we can make it to the other side with my power. It's yours! Let's have some fun. I'll leave it to you. other creates dummies. We'll need to attack the real ones, so observe carefully. I'm taking this. Hey, step out! I'm sorry. Thank you. Help me, Kagura. You got this!
Support me. Looks like we can't go any further. Nothing to open or destroy. Let's find a different path. Wait, it is too early to give up. We might be able to get to the other side using my power. Please give it a try, Kasumi. I need your help. Please, Yuito. Let's have some fun. I'll leave it to you. We'll do this. Support me. Let's have some fun. I'll leave it to you. Let's have 
let's have some fun. I'll leave it to you. Do this. There's nowhere to run. Good. The attacks 
to the outer shell are working. I'll try to break it. How's this? That seems to be the spot. you use it. you use it. Let's keep going. Maybe I got better. That seems to be the spot. I'm going to get burned if I don't do something. Leave it to me. I'll leave it to you. Let's have some fun. Cut the noise. Let's have some fun. Shell are working. 
hurt? Shouldn't be. Kagero. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. The attacks to the outer shell are working. I'll try to break it. Leave it to me. That machine is shorted out. If we give it even more electricity, it'll probably electrify the entire area. It seems broken. We may be able to use it as a weapon if we put enough electricity into it. Let's try it. Kasane, try using my power on. Enemy, it's done. I'll leave it to you. So when you teleport, what would happen if there was a tree where you were going? You would probably break. Support you hit it. Not only would it break, it might cause a nuclear explosion. So I can only teleport to places I know are safe. When the area is out of my visual range, I need someone with clairvoyance. Like you. I always appreciate your help. I'm glad I can help, even though I'm not very strong. Support me. Using the Sheeta. The attacks to the outer shell are working. I'll try to break it. I feel a little more confident. I need your help. Are you hurt, Kasane? I'm okay. You safe? Let's do this! It may appear to be a dead end at first glance, but I think we can make it to the other side with more power. Let's have some fun. I'll support you. Show 
me what you got. I'll leave it to you. Let's have some fun. I need your help. I'll leave it to you. I need your help. I'll support you. Too slow. The attack to the outer shell are working. I'll try to break it. Leave it to me. Wait up. yours! Shell are working. I'll try to break it. You've got this. Show me what you got.
going.
What is this place? Uh, another one? I think that was bigger than last time. Do you think the Kunad Gate is expanding? We don't have time for chit-chat. We need to keep moving. Wait, Wait a, a moment. moment. That voice. Please, Please listen, listen to me. <gasps> Mother? Huh? What? Huh? That's... your mother, right, Yuito? What is she doing here? And Kasani, what did you just say? This is a vision created by Babe. What an underhanded trick. Wakana was a precious person. She was a successful design children model, and she had the power of the red strings. My mother was one of them? And she is important to both Yuito and Kasane. Wakana took care of Kasane when she was little. I heard she fled from Togetsu after an incident. I thought those Togetsu bastards killed Mother. That's what I remember, anyway. So, Yuito's mom ran away from Togetsu, and then met his dad in Suo? Chairman Sumeragi may have provided refuge to her, once he found out she was connected to Togetsu. That is why I thought this form would be best to get you to listen. Yuito, Kasane, you must know. This world is in danger of destruction at the hands of the Kunad Gate. It is not only Togetsu. There are many people living in Suo and Seiron, all over New Himuka. To save all of the people who are important to you, I must have your help. Help? Yurito, I apologize for leaving you alone while you were still young. If you come with me now, your loneliness will be cured. Kasane, do you remember that puppy? That little dog was your friend. If nothing is done, everyone will die. All your friends in the world will die just like your puppy. Will you both help me? Connect your minds and become one with me. Use the red strings to save the world. Don't use my mom for your dirty schemes! Mother wouldn't say things like that. You're not fooling anyone. Is that the best a machine can come up with? You really underestimated these two. A foolish decision. The brain of the Wakana that you love has already been processed and made a part of me. What did you say? Uh, are human brains being used as organic parts for Babe? So then, that means my mom wasn't attacked by others after all. It was you, Babe. No, Togetsu. You stole my mother's brain! All of it was to save the world. What do you mean, save? You're only saving yourselves. You can't sway me with visions of mother. You don't want us to get any further. I won't let you use my mom anymore. I will stop, babe! What? Oh, run! The floor is collapsing! I'm glad everyone's all right. What is this place? Something feels different. What? The floors again? This is bad. Everyone, run! Sugumi, is there a place we can teleport to? This is the only path. Wait. <sighs> Another is coming. It's big.
to run away. I can't see the bottom. If we fall, we'll die. What is this? It's ridiculously huge! Hanabi, focus on running! Don't stop! Relax and use SAS. The enemy is gigantic, but it seems to be just observing for now. If we keep evading the oncoming others, we should be able to make it out, right? I would like to think so, but you can't let your guard down until we're out of here. Yuito's right. It seems like they're not giving it their all yet. Don't drop your guard, everyone. What is this place? and use SAS. The enemy is gigantic, but it seems to be just observing for now. If we keep evading... down, meaning we have to run away. 
I can't see the bottom. If we fall, we'll die. What is this? It's ridiculously huge! Hanabi, focus on running. Don't stop! and use SAS. Too slow! The enemy is gigantic, but it seems to be just observing for now. If we keep evading the oncoming others, we should be able to make it out, right? I would like to think so, but you can't let your guard down until we're out of here. Yuito's right. It seems like they're not giving it their all yet. Don't drop your guard, everyone. We may have fallen, but at least it wasn't to our deaths. So this is the real Babe? That's right. We should be able to access all of Babe from here and shut it down as well. Oh, it looks like something's already processing. What's going on? Babe is implementing emergency procedures. Could it be because we made it this far? Hmm? I felt something just now. It felt like the red strings. What's going on, Arashi? I can't believe it. It's totally empty. Huh? What do you mean, empty? I meant just what I said. All the data has been erased without a single trace. It feels vindictive. So you mean Babe shut down of its own accord? I like your wishful thinking, but something just doesn't seem right. Regardless, it doesn't look like Babe can do anything anymore. So is it safe to say we've managed to stop Togetsu's plan? I'd be lying if I said I was completely free of doubt. But at least at this point, it's clear that this computer is useless. The connection is restored. Hey, are you guys okay? Oh, it's Wataru. The network blocker must be gone. That must mean Babe really is shut down. You shut down Babe! Fantastic! Another earthquake. I feel like it keeps getting stronger. Wataru, that quake. Yeah, another anomaly was observed at the Kunat Gate, and they're becoming more frequent. I'm glad we stopped Togetsu's plan, 
But I don't like that we lost all the research data. There could have been information on the Kunad Gate. Hey, Kagero, Kyoka, is the research data safe somewhere else, or do you know someone who knows about it? It's very unlikely. The research of Red String spans over hundreds of years. It's a power filled with mystery to begin with. There probably isn't a single person who understands the whole thing. So we have no leads? Guys, there is someone. She's involved with Togetsu and is knowledgeable about the Red Strings. Who? Wakana. She fostered Kasane, who has the power of Red Strings. She must have had enough knowledge to be able to raise Kasane to control it. What are you saying? Yuhito's mom is dead. So we should go ask her directly. Directly? You can't be serious! By using the red strings? Yes. We don't seem to have any other options. Even still, I'm worried. It may damage Yuito's brain. Let's do it. If we don't do anything, the Kunad Gate will just keep expanding and bring the end of the world that much closer. I want to do everything I can, even if it doesn't work. Let's use the red strings. And we'll do everything in our power to help. So, what exactly are you going to do? If we're going to make this work, we need to keep strong emotions in check. Let's go to the Kunad Gate. I've jumped from there before, so I think it'll be easier to remember the feeling. You want to recreate what happened when the gate opened? All right, let's head there. The Kunad Gate, has it always been that big? It's definitely expanding, but it's still smaller than what it will be in 50 years. This place brings back a lot of memories. The Red Strings. I think there's a good chance this is going to work. Okay. I hope I know what it feels like. We'll give you SAS support. We should be able to boost your powers if we link our brains together. There's no telling what kind of dangers there will be, so it would be best to come back to the present as soon as possible. In order for you to have the greatest chance of success, you need to have an exact time and place to jump to meet Wakana. October 4th, 2009. The old OSF hospital in Lokusho City. If we go there, I know we'll see my mom. That was the day she died. I was in the hospital then, so it's definite. The others attacked Lokusho City that day, so the hospital moved to its new location in Suo. Alright. I don't know if it'll work, but let's try envisioning that place and time in our minds. Are all ten of us going? A group that big will stand out in a hospital. 
about that. Like my teleportation ability, I imagine it will be too stressful on the brain to move that many people at once. So, should we narrow down the amount of people that are going? Kasane, this may be difficult to hear, but I believe you jumping alone would have the lowest risk. Luca? Regardless, those without the power of the red strings will be pulled back after a set time has passed. If we were to go with you, it would needlessly increase the strain on you and Kasane. Then I'm going too. I can't let Kasane go by herself. No, I agree with Luca. Though for a different reason. Yuito, if you meet your younger self, then there's no telling what might happen. It may just be a theory, but I think it's a risk we can easily avoid in this attempt. But if I make sure I don't see myself... No, I guess we can't be sure. But Kasane going by herself... I won't be alone. Everyone will be supporting me through the SAS. And since you have the same power, if you stay here, you can act as a marker for me to return to the present. That's what I think, at least. So I'm like a beacon. Okay, but don't try to do anything crazy. I won't. I promise. Give me your hand. Lend me your red strings. Of course, it's the least I can do. If you're trying to recreate what happened, my power should help. All right, let's begin. Try to imagine it. Eleven years ago at the OSF hospital. And mother. We'll be waiting for you. <laughs> this is the same as before. What is this place? The place where mother has... I can do this. I just have to imagine it in my mind. The old OSF hospital, 11 years ago. is the hospital, right? Information for patients. Today is October 4th, 2009. I jumped right to when I wanted. I sort of have a sense of the red strings now. I don't think I can use them repeatedly, though. I should start looking for Mother.
You're Kasane. Oh, I... Huh? One day, I received a memory from the future. I saw you in Togetsu. I guess Babe won its wager. It proved the potential of the Red Strings. Mother... What do you mean? I don't understand. The brains of past users of the Red Strings are connected to Babe's core. None of them were as strong as you, though. Babe used those minds to create pseudo-Red Strings to transfer data across time to Red Strings users in the past. Transfer? So the data wasn't erased. But how do you know that? I felt a tug from my brain inside Babe. Its data was transferred into my head. Uh, is that even possible? Babe took a risk so that its plan wouldn't be foiled. A huge amount of data was transferred into me. It felt like my head was split open and I fainted. When I woke up, I was astonished at the information I was given. Even so, I'm sure I wasn't sent all the information. That's how I learned that you were alive and well. This isn't the moment for reminiscing, though. I'm sure you're short on time. Thank you, Mother. I want you to tell me what you know about the Kunat Gate. Is Yuito's death really the only way to destroy it? Yes, it is. As long as Yuito lives, the world will be destroyed by the Kunod Gate. Uh. Which is exactly why I made the proper preparations for that not to happen. Now, while the Red Strings are active, is my only chance to try it. Bring me to your time. Alright. I don't know the reason why, but I'll do what you say. Wait. First, I have to find Yuito. Find him? <laughs> We're playing hide-and-seek. It's alright. He's hiding right over there. I finally finished the device to protect Yuito from memory damage. Is that the ear cuff that Yuito still wears? It's actually a tag the OSF hospital made to manage special patients. But this is a special order. If you swap this for the one Yuito is wearing now, he'll be alright. Then we'll go to the future. Okay, then we need to get Yuito. Oh, Yuito, wait! An other warning. It's starting. I'll keep you safe, Mother. Let's go after Yuito. Others could show up at any time. I have to find Yuito fast. Yuito! Yuito! Mother, look out!
I made it. Just in time. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. Explaining will take too long. Just let me put this on you. Oh. You see, Wakana... Your mom asked me to make sure you wear it. Y yeah Okay. You have to live, no matter what. Are you all right? Is anyone hurt? Get this child to safety. He's Joe Sumeragi's son. Uh, understood. Come this way. I put the cuff on Yuito. Thank you. People can see us here. Come this way. All right, then. Yes, let's go. This'll work. I need to think of Yuito and return to my time. Take me to your time. It's the same as the vision Babe showed us, which means... Mom? Why are you here? What's going on? Yuizo... Mother! We'll talk later. Her brain must be under a lot of stress. Let's find a place to rest. But won't she be pulled back to her time while resting? Don't worry. Though weak, I am a user of the Red Strings. We need to hurry back to the hideout. Wakana should be fine once she has some sleep. There's no damage done to her brain. It seems like it was just exhaustion. Good. I'm glad it's not serious. She said she could stay in this time for a while. So let's give her some rest. If it's true that Wakana has Babe's research data, then that's a hopeful sign. That reminds me. There was something we talked about inside Babe that had me curious. They were making others, but is that the same metamorphosis technique as New Himuka? It might be. It's very likely that Naomi was shot with a special bullet that contained other particles. I never could figure out how much New Himuka actually understood about them. But if they have the technique to incorporate other particles into a bullet, they should be able to do something about the extinction belt. If neither New Himuka nor Toketsu can do it, managing it must be very difficult. Perhaps it has something to do with the amount of particles. The extinction belt is made of other particles, right? So the others that fall from the sky must have been some kind of animal before. It's not birds. We learned it's in the stratosphere, but then... What animals could they be? Well, they most likely came from outer space. Outside the extinction belt. Like the moon. You're almost right. There's a moon station on the outer edge of the extinction belt that contains genetic information of many animals. Or so they say. So, the others falling to Earth was instigated by the moon too. That means no matter how much we fight, the others will be born infinitely. That's so... awful. How could they do that to the people on Earth? It's unforgivable. Very. But I'm sure the people on the moon were desperate to escape metamorphosis. Not that I'm saying you should forgive them for that or anything. With the moon's technology, they should have been able to counter it. 
but there was no way they could save the entire population. It's in Dr. Pope's memories, too. People terrified of other attacks. <sighs> well, we have to wait a while to talk to Wakana. So can't we just slack off? I mean, take a break? You don't have to correct yourself. Slack off all you want. We'll save all the talk for after my mother wakes up. I can't forgive the people on the moon for what they did. But if people are suffering from metamorphosis on the moon, too... Kasane, are you starting to remember the time when you lived with Wakana? Unfortunately, no. But I do remember the kind, warm feeling I had in the days I spent with Mother. It's all because I met her. The circumstances are unfortunate, but I'm glad I got to see her again. <laughs> 